Hello YouTube, this is Randy again with my Samsung Epic 4G. I have uh, flashed everything back to factory so that I could do a video on the routing process, installing your modem and PIT files using Odin, and then flashing uh, whatever ROM you choose to flash onto your phone. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests for it, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it. Again, the video quality is rather poor. I apologize for that, but uh, hopefully you can get enough of an idea of what's going on to uh, be able to do this on your own. Now, I'm assuming that uh, you've already downloaded the necessary files. You're going to need your USB drivers for your Galaxy S phone. Mine's right here. I use a 64-bit operating system. I have the new ROM that I plan to install, which is the uh, Viper ROM DK17 version 2.8. I have my Odin with the PIT and modem files right here. Then I have the lag speed fix. I have my factory ROM right here, just in case I need to go back to uh, factory defaults. And then I have my one-click root exploit version 2.5 here. All of these can be found on the uh, XDA forms. So I have flashed my Epic back to factory. As you can see, it's 100% stock. I haven't installed anything yet. So the first thing you want to do is go to settings. You're going to hit applications, development, USB debugging. Tell it OK. Go back home. And like I said, I'm, I'm assuming you've already installed all of your drivers. Plug your phone in. USB debugging is connected. So the first thing you're going to do is click on your one-click root exploit. Click Run. Press any key to continue. Then wait. Waiting for phone to reconnect. This does take a minute. There it goes. finished. Now you wait. Cleaning up files. Any key to continue. You are now rooted. That's all there is to it. Okay, so now you've got a rooted stock Android phone. Nothing special about it. You can't see a difference on the screen. But now, you can do this. We can unplug it. Oh, I'm sorry. I've already got mine on the SD card, but just in case you don't. Tell it to mount. You want to go to your SD card on your phone. And as you can see, I've got a ton of different things on there. But anyway, I'm going to be using the uh, new DK17 2.8. So you want to make sure that you've got that on there as well. Now before you can do any of that, you've got to update your modem and your PIT files. To do that, you use Odin. You power your phone off. Hopefully I don't run out of video time here. We're already halfway through. Now 
Now this can be a little tricky. You're going to want to hold the uh, first unplug it. It's going to hold the number one with it powered off and the power button. Wait for a yellow downloading emblem to pop up. Now you go to your Odin and you run it. That's what Odin's going to look like. You then plug your phone back in. And you're going to go first. I, I do them separately. Some people do them both together, but I do the pit first. And then this is on my desktop, so we'll go to pit, hit open, turn off the F reset time, make sure the only thing checked is auto reboot, start, and wait. And of course it is not going to work. We'll try doing them both together. There's a modem. Got them both. Start. Initializing. There we go. Okay, so do your pit file and your modem file together then. I apologize. I've only done this part a few times. And you wait. And now the phone will reset. And it's not going to do any good, so you can just pull out the the battery for now because the uh, factory ROM and kernel does not support the new modem. So slap your battery back in. Again, now you're going to boot into Clockwork Mod, which is the down button, the camera button, and the power button all at the same time and wait for the green screen to come up not the blue if you get a blue screen that's not the right one keep holding it there is clockwork mod from here you're going to go to wipe data factory reset you're going to do this three times use your volume button to scroll down to yes and then your camera button is the enter key done. Data factory reset, do it again. Wipe factory reset, do it again. Done. Now you're going to go to wipe cache partition. Tell it wipe cache. Then do it again. Wipe cache. Do it again. Now you're going to go to advanced going to wipe Dalvik cache yes and for good measure do it one more time now go back now you're going to go to install zip from SD card you're going to choose zip from SD card you're going to go to your chosen ROM which mine is right here Viper ROM DK17 2.8 hit the camera button install This can be kind of time consuming, so uh, if this goes over the allotted time, I may go ahead and just pass this up. There we go. It's going to reboot now with the new ROM that we've installed. Okay, I lied. 
<laughs> you're going to click go back. Remember the volume buttons scroll you up and down. The camera button is your inner key. Reboot system. And remember that the first time you boot after putting in a new ROM, it'll probably take a little bit of time. Don't worry. These things are, are really hard to uh, brick beyond repair. In worst case scenario, you can, uh, you can always go back with that stock uh, D700 uh, ROM, the, uh, what is it, the DI-18 TAR file. You can always go back to that when all else fails and start from scratch. Again, big thanks go out to B Thomas 22X from the XDA Developer Forum. He's the uh, he's the man responsible for the the wonderful 2.2 ROMs that we've got here, um, and one of the only reasons that we're not still running 2.1. He makes amazing ROMs very fast. They work great, and he has excellent customer service. Let's see, I've got a battery mod there. I like Launcher Pro, and as you can see. It is done. There you go. Thank you very much, YouTube. Any questions, hit me up. My name's Randy. Thank you very much.